Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk about a college basketball play where you're going to try to play the casino here. You're going to try to be on both sides of the bet, right? The idea is to take the team you think will win, but also to try to hedge the play. So you have limited downside risk, but you do have a chance at some upside. Now, I think Virginia on the road beats Wake Forest in Wake Forest, right? Virginia is one of the best college basketball teams in the country. They have one of the best defenses in college basketball. I just think they're better than Wake Forest. The line right now is plus seven and a half. That gives me pause, right? Because when you're on the road, you know the home team is going to be inspired. Also, in college, when guys run out to a lead, sometimes these young kids won't continue to put their foot on the gas when they know they already have the game won. Let's talk about the odds and how we want to play it. Virginia's a minus 350 on the money line to win. Right? The spread is 7.5. Wake Forest plus 7.5 is a minus 110. Right? Here's the play. I like Virginia on a money line. Right? It's a minus 350. So it's bet 35 to win 10. Right? Do the math. It's bet 35 to win 10. Then what I'm going to do is put that 10 on Wake Forest plus 7.5. In other words, on the Virginia side, $35 on the minus 350 money line, Virginia to win. On the Wake Forest side, 10 bucks on Wake Forest at plus seven and a half. Right? Here's how it breaks down. If Virginia wins by more than seven and a half, no harm, no foul. I walk away, I win nothing, but I lose nothing. Because I win 10 bucks on Virginia simply to win, but I lose the 10 bucks on Wake Forest plus seven and a half. So it's okay. I visited the casino, I made a bet, I'm out of there, no win, no loss. Right? But if Virginia wins by seven and a half or less, Right? Then I actually get the 10 bucks off Virginia simply to win, plus I win on the Wake Forest plus seven and a half. Right? Because Wake will have cover. So then I get another nine dollars and change there. I walk away from the casino with nineteen dollars profit. That's the goal here to win both sides. Right? More importantly, if Wake Forest wins the match outright, then I have downside protection. In other words, I lose money. It's an imperfect hedge. But I win $9 and change, right? I lose the 35 so I end up losing 26 bucks, right? I don't think Wake Forest wins the game outright. This is gambling. I'm taking a chance here, right? I think Virginia has a chance at winning the game within the seven and a half point spread. So the bet I'm recommending here is Virginia on a money line at minus 350, right? Bet 35 to win 10. Then I want you to put that 10 on Wake Forest at plus seven and a half. That's the way I'm structuring the play. The goal is simply to walk away from the casino with a nice profit if Virginia right, wins the game by seven and a half or less. Right? That's the goal. If Virginia wins by more, no harm, no foul. I live for another day. I don't win. I don't lose. 
if Wake Forest wins the game, then of the money I've bet, right, it would be 35 plus 10. Of the $45 I bet, I would only lose $26. Do the math, figure it out. Good luck. I expect Virginia to win this game. I just think the game might be closer than most. If it's not, and if Virginia wins by blowout, great. I live for another day. That's how I see it. Let me hear how you see it. Leave your comments for us here in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.